All right. So first thing I want to talk about is basically updates for everybody. And um, so we're in week 10. We've only got five more weeks. And one of those weeks is Thanksgiving. Uh, hopefully, we won't have anything finals week. Hopefully, everything will be done. Um, I do apologize for not getting your uh, psychological first aid graded, but we're kind of in the middle of KCREP uh, response right now. And um, so I'm the editor. Uh, so it might take a little extra time to get those uh, graded for you, but hey, it'll all be good. Um, so what I thought we would do these last five weeks would be, um, we've only got a few chapters left, and most of them are about treatment. But they mention different types of treatment, but they don't really have a chapter on them. Um, I've also talked about things like play therapy and things like that. So what I thought we would do is the first half of the class, we'll go over a chapter or two, uh, just enough so we get them done by the end. Um, but then uh, the second half of the class, I thought we'd make these last five weeks more experiential um, and do some expressive arts uh, activities. Uh, we're not going to be doing therapy, so don't think about anything dramatic, but, you know, um, but just so you kind of get an idea, uh, those of you who are in the art therapy program, you may, you may be far more advanced than this, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so when you look on this week, um, you know, tomorrow or, or Saturday morning, I'll have these class videos up, but uh, you won't need to watch the class videos. But if you look online, you'll see some things. You'll see, first of all, a Word document called Crisis Expressive Arts. And it has a number of things. It's a list of the things we're going to do as exercises. But I would like you to do a few things. Um, I'd like you to bring something to write with and something to write on. It could be a journal, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just paper, pencil, pen, whatever you feel. Something that you feel comfortable writing with. Not, a, not like a brand new pen or something fancy. Something you would write with all the time. Uh, something you feel comfortable using. Um, and then uh, we're also going to be using a computer or a tablet or an iPad or something you can type on. Um, and if you can't bring it to class, you can use it at home. Um, I'd also like you to bring some crayons, not fancy markers, not colored pencils, not paint, crayons. And I'll tell you why later. Um, we're also going to be doing some things with music, movement, uh, poetry, uh, like nature sounds. Um, and then uh, beyond that, there's a few other things I posted so that you could print them out for next week. Um, so there's all kinds of mandalas on here. And uh, so I'd like you to just print the coloring pages out so that you can color them in class. And uh, as you watch these videos or as you listen to the lecture or whatever, um, I've also got a documentary we're going to watch on mandalas. Um, I do have a video on here about making puppets. And I have a role play of two students using puppets. Um, the video is an older video. It's more about making puppets for any therapeutic use. Uh, with, and it could be adults or kids, but, um, but it doesn't focus specifically on trauma and puppets. But 
just from my personal experience, puppets are, uh, you know, really a, a, a good tool in therapy, especially with kids, but adults too. And um, Mr. Rogers knew all about this. And uh, so the problem is um, like real puppets are like super expensive. And uh, I, when I started out, I started buying real puppets, but I didn't have any money. So I bought one or two. And of course, the kids would look at the puppet and they're like, do you have a different puppet? I'm like, no. So <laughs> they were always disappointed with my puppets. And I, uh, so I'm like, okay, well, we're going to get rid of the purchased puppets and the manufactured puppets. And we're going to make our own puppets. And so I actually uh, took a class on expressive arts. And one of the uh, the nights we talked about puppetry. And uh, so um, the easiest and cheapest thing is brown paper bags. And then I do get them, not just crowns, but all kinds of things. Uh, Everything from like pipe cleaners to yarn to glue on for hair to uh, the googly eyes, which are really cheap um, at paints and markers and basically uh, pieces of fabric they could cut out, whatever, whatever they might need. As I made more money, I moved on to socks. And uh, socks are much more expressive than paper bags. So, um, you know, if you, you can buy all, and you can buy all colors of socks too. They don't just have to be the white tube socks. They can be, you know, any color of sock. Um, so there's, you know, uh, all, all kinds of options for the kids. Um, you just, the only thing with socks is that you do have to buy special glue, fabric glue, uh, so that things will stick to the socks. Um, so what, you can watch those videos if you're, if you're interested. Um, and the second half of tonight, we're going to be talking about um, expressive arts therapy, but really play therapy. Um, and I have a... Uh, PowerPoint that I created for a grant uh, that um, me and my friend presented at. And uh, so we'll do that the second half. We'll also have a movement exercise the second half of tonight. And uh, so I think, I think maybe it'll add a little creativity uh, to this class. Um, the one thing I do want to caution is like any type of you know experience can lead to some unexpected emotions and if you are experiencing some unexpected emotions just stop the exercise and relax and you know do something else you don't have to finish the exercise it's fine um and uh try to change the topic relax do some breathing, whatever, whatever works for you. But it's not meant to be therapy. It's just meant to give you some exposure to some of these concepts and experiences. Okay, so that's that's the plan for tonight and then and then the next three weeks. Um, and of course, we're not going to meet over Thanksgiving. And hopefully we'll be done by the last class and we won't have anything for finals. You should have everything completed by then. Um, right now, you should be working on uh, the suicide assessment role plays. And I think uh, so they're due next week, uh, if I think I have the timing right. Um, so don't forget about those. And uh, all that information should be up on D2L for you to use as well. All right, any questions about kind of the rest of the semester or 
what we're going to be doing. And hey, if any of you have some experience with something that we're doing, like if we're doing some art therapy or something like that, and please contribute, you know, uh, let us give us some insight if you've had some experience with it. Okay. Um,